start the whole thing over because I don't know what order. <laughs> Actually, no, no, no. Okay, so this is what happened. So, like, okay, erase that. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's not the thing. Hi, cupcakes. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kristen. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Today, I have my best friend here, Sierra. Um, if you don't know who she is, I don't know where you've been because we made a video like two Jake weeks, Black, not two weeks ago, it? two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, like, no, it hasn't been. I know it's been two years. Yeah. And we Ew, made one we probably looks so gross in that video. It probably looks so different, like our makeup and everything. You would think two that years. best friends would make more videos. Yeah, yeah but yeah. yeah so if you haven't person. seen that, I'm gonna put that in the i card above somewhere up in these corners. So today we're gonna tell. Um, a story about what are we doing? Oh, the time that she let somebody steal my cell phone. Okay, for the record, <laughs> we didn't know it was her cell phone. I think this happened in this the was summer, the, right? Yeah, beginning. Actually, I think it was the day that we came back. We got back. back from Vegas. No, was yeah. it? Yeah. Because I remember Toyo I thought it picked was, us up. I thought it was the day that we came from school, like from San Francisco, because we flew together. No, because remember, but we didn't um, fly together from Vegas. What? We didn't? No, no, we didn't. Where we from? No, I swear we came from Vegas because remember I had Tulio pick us up. From Vegas? I thought he picked us up from... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't even know if I should be using Tulio's name, but... Aw, oh, damn. <laughs> Hi, Tulio. Anyway, whatever. He's part of the story, okay? Yeah, he so, was a big help. So. And anyway, he picked us up from the airport. He wanted a wallet from Michael Kors. Oh, yeah, and he was impatient, and he couldn't, like, wait for me to actually start working. So he was like, oh, let's go now to the mall. Yeah, because like, she works at Michael Kors, and she gets a discount. So we were going to go to the mall and go to Michael Kors and get him his wallet, but when we got there, they didn't have the wallet that he wanted, I guess. I remember having my phone at this time because I was holding it in my hand, like I know that for sure. For the record, her phone was on 1% when she brought it into the mall, so. I know for sure I had it in my hand because I was like looking at Instagram and stuff like that. And then we decided to go to the food court, right? Yeah, because we were hungry, so I think we were like, let's go just eat. There's this restaurant in the food court called Mossy's, which is like, what kind of food is it? It's like, it's like Mediterranean yeah, food or something like, they like that. Kebabs. Yeah, so I was like, I'm craving some kebabs and cucumber salads, so I'm gonna go over there. And then she wanted Chipotle, which is the way that the mall is set up. So the food court kind of goes in like this big rectangle. Right? Yeah. Mossy's is over here and then there's this like little empty space right here and there's like a table right there and then there's like stores over here and then over on this side is Chipotle so Sierra wants to go get Chipotle and then Tulio was like I'm gonna get Chipotle too so then he goes over there by the Sierra way these tables are hella Chipotle. high too yeah they're like, like they're the highest tables in the mall they're like high chairs for yeah. adults <laughs> So I went to go to Mossy's and I paid for my food and I remember when I paid for my food I wrote down in my notes in my phone how much I paid because I'm like was trying to keep track of my money and stuff and then I went to the table in the middle and I was waiting for Sierra and Tulio to get back with their Chipotle so then they come over and I'm sitting there waiting for my buzzer to go off and it finally goes off so I go over there to get my food and I remember putting my phone in my sweater pocket and the sweater that I was wearing kind of has she has a pockets. weird ass pocket. It's like, not like a, you know how sweaters go either? Like it goes kind of at an angle. Yeah, but these pockets kind of go just like straight Yeah. and it's not even that deep. Like I can barely fit my whole hand in it. And this is like the size of the phone and the pocket like, the, po the it just was straight It was in. like, if you were to put the phone in, this much would be sticking out. I put my phone in my sweater as I was getting my food and then I came back to the table and we were just eating and talking and stuff like that. Okay, so like she said, she she and her boyfriend at the time were on one side and I was on the other side of the table. And 
basically like this blonde chick with dark roots. She works at a shoe store in the mall. So she comes up. You're she's... so good. I would have just exposed her and like said the I'm name. I'm not of the store. trying to get her in trouble. <laughs> well, so... we don't even know her name. Yeah, so, we don't I mean... know her name, but she had really like dark roots and she needed a touch up. Okay, I'm just but, gonna say the store. We know for sure it was Finish Line, right? Yeah, Finish so line. she worked at Finish Line. I don't think we've said the mall either too, so. Yeah, I said we went to the mall. Yeah, but oh, what which mall, mall did we no, go No, okay, to? yeah, we don't, we don't need you to know all that. that. <laughs> okay. She was wearing like a specific shirt, right? Yeah, it was like a gray shirt. I think Finish Line's logo is blue. Tulio is like the one who knows this shit because he's the one who said she worked there because he pointed that out because yeah. he was a sneakerhead and all that stuff. We are like, whatever, she was just wearing a shirt. <laughs> she had um, blonde. <laughs> we knew her hair and how her makeup looked, but we she don't know what she was wearing. Ugly roots. <laughs> yeah. So basically this girl, she comes from Tulio's, um, what side is this? <laughs> right side. <laughs> So she's Tulio, I'm Kristen, this is how they're sitting. She comes from that side of Tulio. And she literally like look like dips under the table and like she looks like she's trying to like basically crawl under the table and we're like, or I was like, I don't know what they were doing. I didn't even know she was behind me at this time. <laughs> she looked like she was about to go out the mall because there's an exit that way that mm -hmm. she was going towards. So I just thought she was rushing out the mall. Yeah, but then she kind of but walked then she, back. Yeah, then she like passed Kristen and then kind of reversed back tried to get under the table or whatever actually too And then I remember she was like here next to me because I was like why the fuck is this bitch yeah, so close to me? Like, so close to her and she's like she's like oh like can you get that and she's I was like that's like, my sister's phone Can you give it give it to me give it to me and I literally <laughs> like it was on my side of the freaking table like the table is like I don't know how wide I'm bad with proportions, <laughs> but it was a pretty like decent wide table the phone was literally on my side by my foot or where my foot would be if mm -hmm. I was on the ground and she was like can you get that that's my sister's phone can you get that for me so I pick it up no but she but the way that she said she it it seemed like she was in a rush like can yeah you give, it to me? give it to me hurry like, hurry 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 yeah she was like come on give it to me give it to me and, and I was like I was like fuck bitch. and so that kind of made me think like that's so weird like why would she be in such a rush yeah. to get and it? me I'm such a like nonchalant calm person I don't react hella like hype when someone's acting like that I'm just like <laughs> like just sitting there and so I just I thought it was weird it. because um, when she was like give me my phone give me my phone and then Sierra went to go get it and then um, she handed it over to her and I was just thinking at the same time I'm like wait let me check if I have my phone right now and like by the time she already had done yeah. that or by the time I had checked um, she had already given it over to her and she was already walking away and I'm like wait when and I don't know at that very moment she's like where's my phone <laughs> and okay. I literally took it handed it to her and it was like black screen, black case, whatever. And uh, I think at the time her case was like bigger than mine. We have the same phone, but mm -hmm. her case was a little chunkier. So I was like thinking it was a different phone because you know, as the upgrades, like the phones get bigger. So I was like, no, it wasn't your phone. It was it was a bigger phone than that. It looked way bigger. But then I was like, I, I was like, I don't know where my phone is. And so I look at Tulio, I'm like, do you have my phone? He's like, no. And I was like- And he likes to joke a lot. He likes to joke, like, so I was like, can you stop fucking with me? You have the Show phone. Me my phone. He's like, I really don't have it. I'm like, can you like be serious? Let's check though? your pockets. <laughs> like, where's this phone? Like, stop. Yeah, then he was like, I really don't have it. And I was like, I think you just gave my phone to that girl. And my eyes, literally, I was like, what <laughs> the fuck? No way. Like, I was in such denial. And I started panicking. My, I, my, yeah. I feel my face get red or like really hot. Cause and she I was, like, uses her phone for, for everything. Like, she yeah. does her work through her phone. Everything is on her phone. All my pictures, my contacts. Like, and so, like, that's your life. I don't I even know life to another anyone's person. number besides yours, so I wouldn't even have like and my I'm dad's always number. With you, yeah, so it's like you actually have. I have everyone she knows. Is well, number. she has. Uh, I have Alanis. She I have has my dad. sister and my dad. At least. I have your mom. Too. Oh, you do. Yeah. So Tulio was like, okay, let me go chase her down real quick. He yeah. goes around the corner, and this is what he told me. So he asked her, "Hey, I think that might be my girlfriend's phone. Can you show me the um the screen, right?" And she goes, oh, I already gave it to my sister and she left already. So that was just weird game because it's like literally a in a two minute like time yeah. span. How, and if it was your sister's phone, why like why go? wouldn't she go with you to get it? You know what I mean? Like if it was yeah. your phone that was missing, wouldn't you want to go and send anyone to go yeah, pick exactly. up my phone? I would go get my mm -hmm. phone. 
Jacob. Yeah, and Jacob. like supposedly she had left her. This sounds right? like we're we sound so stupid. We sound people stupid. are probably watching this like these dumb bitches. <laughs> <laughs> like you guys are dumb. You didn't check the phone. You gave it away. Like, no, and then I got hella mad at Sierra because I was like, why didn't you check the screen? I'm like, why didn't you? Because I literally passed. The because it was, but it was in your her. hand too, so I wouldn't be able to go. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, because like, I wouldn't it. think that your phone had fall. Like, wouldn't you think if a phone dropped out of your bucket yeah, it'd that we like hear next something? to me? But it like was on her she didn't side. Feel anything? It I was didn't hear on her it. side. We didn't hear it. It was on my side of the. So would like naturally and we were tired we just like literally party wherever we came from I don't know where the fuck we came from but we probably did some partying wherever we came from yeah I came back we were from tired we were just hungry we were cranky like and i was so mad too because my food just came out and i wanted to eat that shit fresh. and she couldn't even eat it yeah because then after that after that i lost my appetite i was like can we just go i need to find my phone right now so i was going back and forth in the food court because there's only literally a 20 foot distance that i could have lost it yeah true because she had it when she walked in the food court she had it at the place she was eating at but she didn't have it when we sat down to eat so like yeah. there was a 20 foot span of where she could have yeah lost so it. i went back to the restaurant like three times asking them if they found a phone or, and I asked people like around the, around the we restaurant asked, if they found a phone. And they we asked like no. the janitors, but we they didn't the speak English. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we decided to go to the Apple store. Because um, they have like find my iPhone, you know? Yeah, like, so if your iPhone is still on, I don't know if people who have oh, Androids or like other so types of phones know this. We have this thing called find my iPhone, which only works if it's on on your phone. Is kind of stupid and if the phone is in dead too so yeah if the phone is on. on so the thing is by the time i was in the food court my phone was on one percent and it died so we went to the <laughs> iphone or the apple store and then we asked them if they could help us out and they're like oh it'll only work if your phone's on and i was like fuck my phone probably died already because i was on one percent and so i used sierra's phone to call my dad and i was like hey i think I lost my phone <laughs> and I, or I texted my sister or something like that I don't even know but I just yeah. tried to contact my family to let them know that I didn't have my phone on me they, uh, they said to go check the lost and found which is what we did didn't we? Like, I think we because it's at like the security office or whatever it. lost and found so we went over there to check it uh, they said they didn't have a thing yeah so they I know. think we went back to the Apple store Asking some more questions. We were going back and forth. We, I think we went back and forth like two or three times. Yeah. And then like they're like, oh, we'll have um, because we went there at first, and then they're like, oh no, I, you're in the wrong spot. And then yeah. we went back, and they told us that it was here. And then the security guard was gonna bring us over there, and she brought us to the exact same spot that we we're in. So I was like, we're wasting time. Yeah. This person's this getting away. Right. Like probably across the world already. <laughs> we did not let us like they. I don't know, they were just not cooperating with us. They're like, oh, you have to have like a police report if yeah, you want us when to we check were the at cameras. The, um, or they were asking us what happened and then we told them and they're like, well, we can't do anything. You have to file a police report. I mean, they checked the cameras and we're like, oh, the girl, oh, that's another thing. The girl said she was eating there with her sister before us. That's why her phone was over there. But when they checked the cameras, they're like, yeah, no girl you described. They saw the girl at the time we described that she took her phone, but they're like, she wasn't eating there, mm -hmm. you know, previously. Okay, wait, 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 we're, we're missing a bunch of, there's like a lot of gaps in that because we told them to look at the cameras, right? And they're like, okay, yeah. cool, cool. And I was like, can we can we look with you guys? And they're like, no, you can't. We know where the cameras are because we saw it when we were sitting at the table. Yeah. We're like, okay, we know exactly which camera is showing the table. So like, if we can just look and we can show you exactly who the person is, Blah, 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 right? And they're like, nope, sorry, like, you can't. And there was one security guard who was we're gonna, down. We're, we're gonna call her Lisa because she kind of has, like, a role in this. She was cool because she was the one who led us from the Apple store to the security thingy in the box. Yeah. And um, she was, like, talking to us. And after they were telling us that we couldn't look at the cameras, 
Um, she walked us, where did she walk? She walked us, us like back out to where the mall area was and she's like, just come back like after my lunch or something. She and was like, like oh. I don't wanna expose her, but she was like, come was back at this time and cool. I can show yeah. you the camera. They don't know what mall we were yeah, at. So like, <laughs> Wait. It took like a whole oh, yeah. ass hour or two just trying to get them to tell us what happened because they wouldn't tell us certain things and they also said there were some blind spots in the cameras. They were trying to see me put my hands in my pockets when I was waiting for my food and they said that it looks like I put my hands in my pockets and not my phone. They couldn't really tell if I dropped my phone there and then on the other cameras they were saying like you couldn't see the girl's face and like all this bullshit. Lisa, for some reason, led us back into the mall. I don't know, I don't remember why. Yeah, I, I think she was just helping us retrace her steps or some shit like that. Oh, oh, because we told her that that girl works at finish line. Yeah, but I don't, I think um, she, we went back to the food court with her. Because no. we never went to finish line with anybody. Oh, yeah, because the, remember the, the head of the security guard, the boss or whatever? <laughs> he went to finish line. No, okay, because we were telling him like, I'm just gonna go over there right now and tell her and confront her and they're like, no, don't do that, don't do that, like Like you're not allowed to do that Yeah, you're gonna get in trouble and blah blah blah, right? And like we can't, we couldn't tell them that we saw something on the cameras or whatever, so The head of the security or whatever went over there by himself asked what happened and they didn't even say anything so i was like you know what i feel like he's bullshitting us i'm just gonna go over there right now we we're like hopefully they don't see us on cameras and so we went in there asked if some girl with blonde hair and dark roots worked there um the manager was saying how she couldn't like give out that information or whatever we're just saying oh because um i think she might have taken my phone um if she took my phone then i might have to file a police report on her it's like trying to tell the manager that so she could tell the girl and hopefully it'll scare her and she'll give me my phone back but i guess she already had left on she her she didn't shift. work at that location too. permanently yeah she was just like a it was holiday. like a new store or whatever and she was like there just to help them open it or like yeah well they weren't gonna tell us anyways but they wouldn't be able to tell us if she, when she was coming back if she was coming back like we didn't know we thought she was gone forever yeah, cause then we could be like serial killers or something like that yeah find somebody <laughs> so they didn't want to give out her personal information so we were just like okay well can you tell her that i'm gonna file a police report against her if she doesn't give my phone back and then so we went and we actually went to go file a police Yeah, report. because my life is on my phone. It took us a long ass time to actually go to the police station because we were trying to figure all that shit out by ourselves, right? But if we hadn't gone to finish line and told the manager that we were going to file a police report, might have never I probably been. wouldn't have gotten my phone back. Because police don't like, that's not a necessity. No, it's not even that. It's just because I feel like the manager told her no. and so she was like, yeah, because there's no other way that she would have known that I filed a police report against her. I know, but that I, what I'm saying is it probably would have took long if we filed a rep police report anyways because we don't like, oh, have her like, name. That's true, yeah. We don't like know anything about her besides what she looks like. So like they probably wouldn't have made it a priority even if yeah. we filed it right away. So I think it was good that we did all that hunting. Didn't we give it to the office too, like a copy of it? Yeah, we had to fucking go back to yeah. the mall and to the security office and give the report back to them and all this bullshit. And as we're leaving the mall, we actually see Lisa outside and so we pull up next to her we're like, hey, um, so you told us to come back after um, these people are off, right? Because the people that were there weren't letting us see the cameras and stuff like that. So we're like, can we have your information? She was kind of sketched out because I guess like the other security was like there watching. Oh, and so yeah. we're just like, okay, bye, bye, bye. She went home and then, oh, I remember too, I was about to get a new phone that day because I we went into Verizon. Were you there with us? So after we went, after we left the mall, we went to Verizon because I was mm -hmm. gonna get a new phone, mm -hmm. and then it was too expensive for me, like out of pocket. So I was like, I'll just wait. And then I just went back to Tulio's place, and I couldn't really do anything. So we just went about our night, and uh, we were making dinner, right? So this is like six to eight hours after I after she gave my phone to that girl. I was actually starting to be like in a good mood. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna let this ruin my mood. I'm just gonna be happy and blah, 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 right? Right when I think that, Tulio gets a call. Cause you know, I'm like, find my iPhone. You can put someone's phone number to call that number. So if, if someone finds that phone, then you can call them or whatever. He gets a call from this girl 
and she's like hey i found your phone i think this is the number that was on um by my iphone do you guys want to pick it up or something like that right and he was like oh yeah yeah like where did you find it and she was like why are you asking me all these questions like i'm just trying to be nice i'm just trying to do the right thing it's like uh he asked like, one question why are you so defensive like we just uh, want to know where you found yeah, it yeah and anyone and who wasn't like, guilty would just be like oh i picked it up off the floor or i yeah. found it in a bin at the this place or whatever yeah so he gives the phone over to me because he's like i don't want to fuck this up so i'm like hello and she's like hi i'm like did you find my phone and she was like yeah do you want to meet up and i can give it to you and i was like yeah thank you so much where did you find it I asked her the same thing where i was like where did you find it and she was like oh i just was just shopping around and i just found it which like, is like so already a lie yeah because for sure i lost it in, in the food court yeah and i was like whatever i just want to get my phone so yeah. <laughs> play nice until i get my phone then you can punch her in the face <laughs> We got into Tulio's car and then she told us to meet us at a GameStop. That's so a weird we're like, to me. Yeah, it was like at a GameStop somewhere, I forget where, but somewhere kind of far, like 20 minutes away you in some plaza. Panorama City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if she'll ever watch this and like be like, oh, that was me, that's still her phone. <laughs> I, I did that. <laughs> that was me. Exposure. Uh, <laughs> no, okay, so then we got there, and uh, Tulio was so sketched out because it was dark time, so he called the police, and he they kept putting him. It's funny because he's 6'5. <laughs> yeah. So it's like you're the scariest one, and you're the biggest no, one. No, because it could be like a gang of people yeah, true. ready. I don't know why, like, why they would do that, but. Yeah, so he called the police. And it was like, oh, if blah 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 blah, press one, right? So we did that, and it was, and then some person answered, we're like, hey, someone stole our phone, and now they're telling us that they want to meet us at this place. Is it possible if you guys could come over here just to watch out for us and like make sure it's safe? And he was like, oh yeah, let me transfer you over to this person. And so he transferred us over to somebody else. He told the same story. They're like, oh, let me transfer you to this person. So you have to tell a story like three times. And then he's like, hey, um, I don't know, like, can we just talk to someone? Because this is my third time being transferred. And we just want someone to help watch us because we're not trying to get killed out here. And so they're like, yeah, 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 whatever. We got there. The person met up with us and it was a completely different girl. It was a like, the first girl was, was she Latina? I or feel like she was. Because okay. I, I didn't I see can't. her face. I only saw her hair. She was light skin, but she, she had was like very a light Latin skin. vibe mm. <laughs> going on. Yeah, so the girl that met up with us, um, by the way, the police never even showed up. So that was like a waste of time. <laughs> I was telling my dad this story too. He's like, did the police ever come? I was like, I don't know. He's they like, never, guess you're going to find out. <laughs> they never showed up. And, and the um, transaction. <laughs> action i feel like i'm selling drugs or something <laughs> it was really quick it was like a 10 second thing and then we left so she comes out it's like this thicker girl with like dark straight hair and she's latina too and she just hands over the phone I'm like thank you so much and then she's like yeah i just try to do the right thing and i was like where'd you find it where'd you find it like try to ask her again to see if she's um if she was gonna lie and she was like oh you know i was just like shopping around the mall and i picked it up and it was dead so i just charged it and then like waited for it to come on and then found the number on iphone uh find my iphone and i was like okay well thank you so much i appreciate it blah blah right and then we leave and i was just thinking like that's such bullshit because if if that was so, and the girl said it was her sister's phone, then you're apparently the sister. Then you wouldn't have said that you just found it, like, laying around in the mall, you know what I mean? Unless, unless that girl who originally took it found out because her manager called her and told her that I was going to file a police report. Maybe she went back to the mall and just placed it in a random spot in the mall, and then perhaps that girl Good. found it, but I doubt that happened. I feel like if you did all of that, like, damn. That's just too <laughs> right? But I feel like she just asked one of her friends to pretend like she found yeah. it in the mall. Finally got my phone back. Nothing was wrong with it. I was kind of scared Jake she would have bugged it or something or put some, yeah. like... Yeah, so that was the story of... The time uh, my best friend let someone steal my phone, but I got it back. Thank God. So, <laughs> so I'm not such a horrible best yeah, friend. Yeah. So if you like this story and thought it was entertaining, give this video a thumbs up. 
don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and hit that bell button so you'll be notified of all my new videos to come go ahead and follow sierra on all her social media i think she mostly just uses instagram though so yeah i'm mostly instagram oh 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 you know what other video we need to make <laughs> the q a for our brand oh yeah so i haven't told you guys this yet but we are actually starting our own petite clothing brand um for women and there's like a lot to chat about with that yeah and we so have a lot of questions too for you guys questions for you guys and answers for your questions to us so yeah that's gonna be coming out soon we need to film that because people have been asking us thank you so much for watching this video stay, stay cake stay, stay fierce, fierce and i'll see you in the next one bye